During the fall after aeration, we sometimes get samples that look like microdochium patch or pink snow mold caused by microdochium nivale in the field, but when you take them to the lab, it turns out to be that they're rapid blight caused by or inspired by high salinity conditions. And you can see that the spores or the uh, spindle-shaped cells get drug along with either the aeration equipment or when the sand is being drug into the holes. Uh, it's important to know whether or not you have rapid blight or uh, pink snow mold because the treatments are quite different. Now let's take a look at another sample that was emailed to me, a photograph emailed to me, and the, the superintendent wanted to know if this was pink snow mold or not. And I wasn't sure, but I was worried about it being rapid blight. In this case, it also turned out to be rapid blight. So let's take a look at the diagnostic characters of rapid blight and give you a little bit better idea of, of how you can tell these diseases apart. For example, this is a microdochian patch or a pink snow mold on a Poa annua green. Uh, it's a little bit light in the centers because it was sand top dressed, but let's take a look uh, at what happens when you bring a plug into the lab and incubate it. So here we have a small portion of a patch, and uh, if we just put this in a moist chamber and incubate it overnight, we'll see what the results are. This looks very much like rapid blight, and we'll show you a picture of rapid blight that looks a little bit similar. But now let's take a look at what uh, this sample looks like 24 hours after incubation. Okay, this is microdochium patch or pink snow mold 24 hours after incubation and you can see that there's an abundance of mycelium that's produced as the actively growing fungus continues to attack the plants. There are other characteristics uh, that you can look at, but this is a simple one. Just by putting the sample plug into a moist chamber waiting 24 hours, you will know whether you have or don't have rapid blight. If you have mycelium produced like this, uh, you don't have rapid blight. It's probably microdochium patch. In the case of rapid blight, if you take a sample that looks like this and you incubate it in a moist chamber overnight, uh, there will be no mycelium produced, but the sample will continue to degrade and melt down in the, as the labyrinthula uh, consumes the entire plug. To be sure you've got the right organism, you need to take a piece of a leaf tissue like you've seen us rip off before and place that on a microscope slide. Well, you'll find uh, the spindle-shaped cells inside uh, tissues and some will be outside the tissues of the, uh, of the leaf so that you can uh, confirm that it's uh, rapid blight caused by Labyrinthia terrestris. With microdochium patch, you're going to see large mounds of spores called sporodochia. And this is a low magnification image. And the spores, if you zoom in on higher magnification, you're going to see these spores that have one to three septa, and they're sort of crescent shaped. So there's much more definition to the spores uh, than you would see with the rapid blight. For more information on rapid blight and snow mold or microdochium patch management, refer to the links associated with this video.